Let me show you what they look like. It's so exciting. But we've got no holes. <laughs> Somewhere here should be a, a hole. You've got a plan going in. It doesn't work out. I'm Jo and he's Vic. Together we've been navigating the English canals with our trusty canoe and two narrowboats. One of them is our home and the other we're turning into a travelling coffee shop on the water. Subscribe and come along for the ride. Good morning. Um, we're going down today. Vic's doing some last coat of painting. How's it going? Yeah, okay, I think. I've gotten over the initial panic. It always happens. Is this the last, last cut? Yeah, it's got to be. I thought the last one was. You know, this must be the last, last one. Now I fully appreciate where the expression paint yourself into a corner comes from. You know, you, you, you got a plan going in, but it doesn't work out. <laughs> and you realise that you've messed it up. It's all about wet edges. <laughs> so it's, that's what I'm realising this painting like. Right, I'll take the pressure off, take the camera away, and switch it to <laughs> Terry's latest work of art. How incredible is that slidey hatch looking? Whilst Vic's getting on with painting that front bit, I'm going to clean up all the windows. We did most of it yesterday, but I just need to clean them all up a bit extra so that Paul can fix them on tomorrow. Because all the fittings... Hello! Yeah, yeah. yeah that's right, yeah. Thanks so much, see you. Bye. So embarrassing when you're in the middle of a vlog <laughs> and people come up. <laughs> you're like a loser. I don't know, something really light. Yes, yeah, for you. Should we see what it is? Can I just say that it, I think it's a combination of not enough paint on my roller. Oh, you need to explain something. <laughs> Go I on. Just need to, I feel the need to justify myself, or to at least state that I think the reason why I'm not doing so well now is like I'm not putting enough paint on my roller. And I think I'm being a bit ambitious with what I can get wet at one time, if you know what I mean? Like how much I can paint at once. Yeah. It looks really good though, from here. The truth is you never really know how it's going until you see it dried. Well, at least I don't, so. I kind of have to wait and see. I think Steve and Terry are back. Just saying, my theory is I'm not putting enough paint on the roller this time. I think I thought it looked alright. I, I think, think you're being you... too critical. What's, what's bloody wrong with that? <laughs> That's the thing. I don't really. It's pretty good for a moment. Yeah, I'm I tell you what, there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. What you're thinking is it's going to go flat straight away. It does actually tighten up yeah, as it dries. Yeah. yeah. Tightens up after a few weeks. And, and, and that well, looks alright to me. Anyway, I'd be happy with that. That's a bit of a. What, it's that? so hard to, yeah, that little run. You've got to run now, yeah. stick your thumb on it and flatten it. And then you can just flatten it slightly tomorrow before you varnish yeah, it. Yeah, well, I've got one of Steve's trousers. Yeah, I've got those. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, they're paints as trousers. Right, you want to copy? Yeah, go ahead. If he makes out he's painted this boat all on his own, I'm going to add it. Yeah, <laughs> that's all in the edit. <laughs> <laughs> I still see a bit of the stickers. Oh. I where they've been. Have you finished your painting? Yeah. How do you feel about it? I think it went alright actually. I think it looked good. So. What do you reckon? Is that clean enough? 
Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not with that, but you know what, that's... That's for another day and another person to do. <laughs> Looks good though, doesn't it? Probably the best it's looked. I've just done the last one. These are the door hinges for the front door. Oh yeah. For some reason there should be six, but there's only five, so I don't know when one fell off. Yeah, before our time. your bottom dollar, it wasn't my fault. Yeah, these. I don't know if they were tight. I don't know if they were varnished, lacquered, or whatever. But if they're varnished or tarnished certainly tarnished but now they look pretty much a million times better take my word for it and I'm just gonna auto solve them you might have to shout a bit they look a million times better than they did and now I'm just gonna auto solve them auto solve repair auto solve replace don't see us but really all I did those with was um very liquid and that scourer so have they got scratches on yeah a little bit <laughs> but does that matter in the grand scheme of things if you've taken all the dirt off with it no <laughs> doesn't matter <laughs> do you like how this little bit has turned into my polishing station yeah i wondered what you've been doing out here i thought you'd been quiet <laughs> what it takes, hey? There, this is my abrasive drawer. <laughs> this is the it's going not so good drawer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is quite different, isn't it? Okay, does that come across on camera? Mm. Maybe in the sun. Oh wow. Oh. Believe it or not, I'm gonna go for another coat on that. Oh yeah. Ooh, it's bright. Uh today. Finishing touches are happening to the boat, so the one side is varnished already, so windows can go back on there. Houdini hatches are going back up on the top. Mushrooms are on. Portholes might go in the side that's varnished. Um, Terry's doing finishing bits to the slide hatch and her artwork. Um, yeah, there's quite a lot of people here. It's a warm day. It's gonna get hot, hot, hot in that shed. Yeah, I really like it. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's great. I love red red, so. It's, it's too shiny right now, it'll tone down. Yeah, I think it looks cool. I, th I thought it would like look, make the other colours look a bit weird. Yeah, that's why, we, weird, that's why actually, we said about not doing it up the front here, do that black. But it takes about six weeks for it to actually tone down. It's going okay. to slip then. Yeah, yeah. It will be slippery like this, I yeah, can assure you. Yeah. Are you sad, Terry, that that's actually going to go on the top of the boat? Now I feel sad. It's not like <laughs> not pride of place, yeah. That's going to get about 10 coats of varnish now. Yeah, good. <laughs> Never to fade. <laughs> so now that those Houdini hatches are on, I can start, you can't see anything. Oh, there we go. Now that not those Houdini hatches are on, um, I can take down the paper that I put up to stop the dust. And I'm gonna take it away from all the windows so we'll be able to actually get some light in here again. Yay! Ooh, 
light. And now I'm gonna take all these, I'm gonna put these windows in, so I'll take all those out as well. Should I just varnish over that so you know how hard that works? Yeah, leave your signature as a sweaty handprint. Yeah. Looks like I'll definitely be painting another coat inside. Now the mushrooms are out, I can probably take the newspaper down from them as well. Use the glass. Loads of dust, I can't wait to tidy up in here. Windows are there, ready to go in there. But we got no holes. <laughs> Not that I can see anyway. Well, somewhere here should be a, a hole. <laughs> and there isn't. I'll have to re-drill it, I think. Another job is the doors that go on the front, so like the full length doors. Um, and we took them off. I've polished up the brass, the little bits that go on there. Um, and Steve's gonna give this a sand down with his sander, so the flat bits. And then I'm gonna get in all these little bits, clean up the glass with glass cleaner. And they have, I think it's quite a traditional thing, whoops. They have this penny on them. I think it's a Victorian penny massive um, so I'm gonna try and shine that up as much as I can if you got something to say to our video viewers yeah hello thank you and if you're new here why not subscribe it's really <laughs> quality stuff this. it's good uh, unlike these shoes <laughs> will we ever recover from this tiredness Not sure I'll do that. Morning. Morning. Now uh, you saved me from a day of editing, which I'm really grateful for, actually, because it was there. Uh... The laptop was playing up. <laughs> I'm having trouble there. Oh no. I'm going to go back in. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to have to give up trying to get one on there, because there's no steel the other side. We're trying to put right what someone else has buggered up. Yeah. Story. So. What are you saying? Right. Story of my life. <laughs> if you want, start putting the mastic on. This would be good. I've been waiting to do this. One man. They call him the mastic man. Four windows. Do we know which one goes in which hole? Five meters of mastic. Vic, you're not gonna have enough. Right, Vic, explain what you're doing. Well, this stuff, I'll try and show you how sort of sticky it is in a minute. It's like chewing gum, but sort of more so. But it basically forms a seal around the windows. What is it, like a double, basically like a gum that's, that's like a sticky tape? Yeah, do you want to see how sort of gummy it is? If you could. It's the same as the black stuff that was, the, the mushrooms were sort of sealed with, if you remember taking them off. Sweet of bloody bubble up. gum this is. Sweet of bloody bubble up. gum this is. So it stays like that forever. It doesn't ever go hard or anything. It never sort of sets. I think it's easier to know that you've got everything sort of sealed up with this stuff. I like a phone. Nokia 3210. Best thing ever made after the wheel. What about sliced bread? Um, no, no, I like chunky bread. Is this the varnish then that's going on yeah, now? this is the varnish going on. It's a bit warm in here today. And it's dragging a little bit. Thank you, Steve. I will leave you alone now for at least yeah. an hour. <laughs> um, as you know with the brass, the mushrooms, they were a pain in my neck to do. 
Um, so the, and we had these big portholes, the ones that go here. Ta da They like ships. And I'll show you a before, a before photo of that now. Ding! And um, we sent them off to a metal polishing place, Eddie at EJN Engineers, that was like really local. Well, it was a cyclable distance away. And um, he brought them back yesterday. And let me show you what they look like. It's so exciting. They're in this wrap because they don't want to get anything on them, if you can see. But look at that colour. So thank you, Eddie, for doing them so amazingly. Because we really didn't know what they were going to come up like, or even what metal they were. But it's brilliant. It's really warm again in there. And the... We had to have the doors at the end closed because um, Steve was painting so if they were up and the breeze was making the paint uh, dry way too quickly so it just opened them but my goodness it must be like 40 degrees in there plus come with me to the cool of zero this is going to be a project soon that set of drawers because I've also got to convince Vic to keep it I think that's the reason it's not sort of inside being taken care of is because he doesn't believe in that project. Maybe we should. These are tomato plants that um, we've been looking after for someone. Maybe I should water them. Thanks for watching. Next week, Holly will be coming out of the paint shed all shiny and as new. Subscribe to follow along and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss the reveal. See you then. Bye. They'll be lovely for a little salad.